Hello, welcome back for another match of Shadow My Era. This is Spirit Mongo 187, and we are still going to play Azana the Mist. So, last match didn't turn out so well. well. It was the first time I played that deck since a long time. Uh, so, I played against the Aladwin, and he rushed me pretty bad and ended it with a big bang with a supernova uh, killing me. So uh, we're still going to play this deck again because I like it very much. Uh, we're on the 256 rating, and our next match is against Dark Claw. Let's give him the high have fun, and let's see what it will turn out to, to be. I guess he does not play a lot of allies, so we do not need any supernovas, I think. And um, we are going to get rid of this retreat here and we'll enter. And the reason why because I sacrificed the retreat is that I think he doesn't play any allies. Uh, if he plays it we'll see it soon enough and we'll grab another retreat because I play like four of them or we draw anything else to remove it. So we have some uh, artifact removal so that's pretty nice against him. Uh, against the Dark Claw and to play the bad Santa causing me to draw nothing. I'm going to sacrifice the champion of Irem and I'm going to play a Puin. I want to get out as many creatures as possible as fast as I can. Um, I would like to rush him pretty quick. So deal some damage to him pretty quick uh, because I do not want to play the bazaar because we have cards enough at this point. Uh, so next turn I'm probably going to play the champion of Irem. But let's just see what he's going to do. Yep, now you're mine on my Puin, destroying it. And we are going to sacrifice. Mm, this is hard. So many cards to sacrifice, but I do not want to... Yeah, let's just get rid of the champion. And now we're going to play the Bazaar. Give him some extra cards as well. But hey. We are also going to draw some cards. And we have got some heal against Dark Claw, so that's very nice. We can outdeck him, maybe, if we damage him enough. Uh, I forgot if I play Servitize in the deck, because that would be very nice against uh, Lone Wolves. There comes a Dead Mage. Um, how are we going to deal with that? Um, well, we are going to sacrifice a retreat. Uh, do I want to play it? And I have two, four cards. I'm going to draw two for my turn. It's six. Seven is max. It would not be very wise, but yeah. who cares? He's not going to target me, so I'm just going to play it. I could have played a retreat on it, but it would be a waste of my turn. Now if he destroys it, I'm gonna draw two cards and one more from the bazaar with my turn, so I have a full hand again. Um, well, I think really the uh, the Dawn of the Mist is the only uh, ally that can play bazaar with a huge size deck. So what I really would love to see in an update from Shadow Arrow or the next expansion or something like that is a minimum of 50 or 60 cards in a deck. It would be so nice. So here comes a water big feet, and he's going to draw some more cards with his blood moon. Let's just get rid of this bad sander. We do not need that. And we are going to destroy his water big feet. Get rid of that. And we'll just play our Puin again. And we'll end turn, saving up some shadow energy. As well as he doing. We got also 5 left. So we are drawing a lot of cards and if I'm going to lose this match, I'm going to switch to another deck again. I'm thinking about playing Zeladar again or maybe Elementalist. It's also a pretty fun deck to play. I tested it out a bit and it didn't work as well. But I got some tips so I'm going to tweak the deck maybe and play it again. There we go, disabling my pune. 
Um, I'm giving you two damage there. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Let's just sacrifice. Mm. Or maybe this is even pretty nice to keep in hand to bounce him back. Um, I don't want to sacrifice any of these cards. It's so stupid. I've drawn so many cards, but I do not want to sacrifice anything. Um, should I just play this one? The little bit Winterborn. Um, yeah, I think we could do that. And next turn, yeah, let's just do that. Don't play Lady Elizabeth Winterborn, heal herself up. And we'll just end turn. Drawing another card. Um, maybe I should have sacrificed her. Yeah, doesn't matter. Maybe it's going to damage it's going kind to of attack. So we are really drawing a lot of cards here. These are 24 cards left in this deck and as you can see I even have more cards than uh, when we started the game. He had less cards in his deck than I have now after so many turns. So here comes a full moon. He cannot be damaged. And his ally gain attack. Yep. So I gains two attack points. He's going to damage my Winterborn and he's going to attack for two. No problem. What a big teeth. He's going to destroy it. No problem as well. I can also remove uh, negative abilities with this card here. Healing touch. So um, let's just get out our Aeon Stormcaller. And we'll just end turn here. So now he can attack next turn, or this turn. Maybe he gets a speed strike, so he can deal some more damage. Then he would be even, he would even be able to kill my Aeon. Maybe I should have destroyed this first, because I think I only play one or two Aeons in this deck. I think two, but... Yeah, there it is, speed strike. It's going to hit him for two, and attack him two times. Well, it's not a problem either, so we just keep dropping the allies. But I also have the card in this deck that says three resources. Uh, put all your allies uh, on top of your deck, something like that. Um, okay, maybe I'm not going to sacrifice anything yet. Or do we? We want to play this one, then I have four left. I want to play this one. I also want to play this one. Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, oh, wait, I want to play this one. True, two. It's five mana. But this one is also pretty nice. Three, five, five, six. I need one more. Let's just get rid of the old. Okay. We're going to bounce him back. We are going to destroy that and we'll play a Pune and we'll end turn. I should have sacrificed this one, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Next time we'll drop our King's Pride, I think. That wolf is pretty nasty if he's going to destroy the bazaar. I don't have any card drawing advantage anymore. Well, I have some of, I have some more cards in the deck, some bad sandals and the weapon. Okay, there comes Predator Fangs or something. It's called. Just going to attack some more. I will survive that. Some eight damage now. And two more, taking me down to 15. Okay, now let's get rid of the rain delay. And what does he say to left? Well, well, well. Um, we could play the armor, of course. 
and you draw some, or draw some cards. I play a jazz one. Just as bait. I think we are going for that option. We're going to draw another card and play adjustment and we'll just enter in I think now we are going to heal ourselves giving us some time to breathe and yeah we can attack so let's just do that get him down to one and enter so now he will be able to deal me some 8 more damage with the ability 10 more damage kicking me down to 8 so the speed strike is very nice. Oh, this is so stupid, I still need to draw a card. How, like how many cards do you need? <laughs> That's yeah, the big disadvantage with the, the, the lot of cards in your deck. But if your opponent has that as well, it would be so more, uh, such more fire. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce it, but you would see so many different cards in the deck. And something with game as a if some if he's going to play something it would really be a surprise because now you really know oh, that deck is playing that in turn three and that in turn four. It's almost too obvious sometimes. So there it comes again, the big wolf. Well, what a luxury. Two bad centers. Seven and this one is three. Then resources that I need, and we don't have that. Uh, we can use our king's pride. Uh, I think I'm going to hold on to the bad sender for for a while. We'll just activate our ability heal ourselves a bit. Which is this is just playing. If you played Magic the Gathering. Kind of a keeper deck, a control deck. And yeah, let's just hold on to this because I don't want to give him any more cards, I think. Um, and we could play it. I should have played it before the King's Pride, but yeah, doesn't matter. This is a fun deck, so let's just enter here. We'll just see what it's going to do. I've right, drawn a Leyline Nexus and we are going to prevent some damage. Um, unless he's going to destroy it, of course. But he got his own Leyline Nexus. Okay, he got five resources left. So he would be able to kill me now. 4, 8, and 10, 11, 12 damage. Now he's going to kick me down to 1, I think. Or does he not have any shadow? No, he doesn't have shadow energy. So he can kick, to kick me to 5. Okay. Let's see what we are going to draw. And let's just get rid of one of these, I think. Yeah, why not? Just slow dash, destroy the tanks. Uh, yeah, this is the card that I'm at on top of your deck. Um, yeah, we have to heal ourselves. So that's what we are going to do. Heal ourselves to 9. Enter. So this is really stupid. It's Tiger Wolf. What is it called? Tiger Wolf, I think. Yeah, it should be that a long while ago. I still have three tidal waves over here, I think, and two retreats in the deck. But I don't draw them. Yes, there is Shadow Font. It's going to deal 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. Yeah, that's a GG. That's it. Another lose with this Zana Miss deck. It was a very big deck, it's pretty risky, but. It's a fun deck to play, it actually has a lot of card draw, but yeah, it's not as good as it, uh, as it looks like. Well, it doesn't even look good. If you see an opponent with uh, 56 cards in his deck, you know, hey, that's a win for me. So, next match is going to be an other hero again. If you have any ideas for a hero, if you want to see something, 
just place it in the comments below and I'll play the deck. Uh, otherwise I think I'm going to play Zaladar because I want uh, to return some of my rating again. When I start shooting this fits I had like 268 rating and now I'm dropping down to 254. So I have to do something about it but hey, it doesn't matter a lot but we are trying to get 270 rating again because I had it once so. Well, I hope you liked this match. Uh, I will see you next match. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next match. Cheers!